Today we're going to be making a seared albacore tuna with a watercress salad with an apple miso vinaigrette. Uh, we start off with having a beautiful, fresh BC albacore tuna. Albacore tuna is an ocean-wise product, and this will be seasoning with salt and pepper, searing, and uh, serving, uh, serving warm. Uh, you know when a piece of albacore tuna is good quality uh, because you are you're smelling it. You can tell that it doesn't have a fishy aroma. So we season it evenly with a little bit of salt and pepper and we're going to take it to the frying pan. So you want to make sure that the frying pan has decent heat to it. With tuna, you want to sear it uh, quickly and serve it rare. So this tuna is seared perfectly. Now let's remove it to the cutting board. Next, we're going to be making lotus root chips. And lotus root is something that many Asian families grow up on. And it looks quite intimidating, and I'm sure everyone's walked past it in, the, in, their, in their grocery store. In fact, you can get these at Safeway. You can get these at any market. Um, the best thing to do with them is to stew them. And you cut them into maybe one-inch pieces, and you stew it in any, uh, any stock with aromatics. And that is a, a great stew. But it takes a couple hours for it to, to get soft. Today, we're going to make chips out of them because it adds a great texture to, to the salad. It's something we serve at the restaurant in Oru. I thought we'd serve it today with the salad. So very easy, they're very beautiful, and you just take them to a deep fryer. And when you do this at home, just make sure that the oil is in a big enough pot um, that it won't overflow. This is a perfect shape pot right here. So we're just going to place them right in, and be very careful placing them in. Place them in one at a time. Uh, place them away from you so that you don't splash yourself. The oil is probably at about uh, 325 degrees. Um, and you know they're done when they're, they're crisp. So this will probably take about, uh, about 30 seconds. You don't want them to get too dark. You fish them out and place them on a little paper towel. And immediately you give them a little bit of, a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. And next, we'll be making our salad. Now we're gonna make our apple miso vinaigrette. We start off with a tablespoon of miso paste, Dijon mustard, honey, and we then have the, the apple cider vinegar. And then we whisk in some grapeseed oil. And an another handy little tool here is called a, a microplane or a rasp. And in it, I'm gonna rasp in about half teaspoon of fresh ginger, and as well as half garlic clove. So a little bit of salt. And this makes a beautiful emulsified vinaigrette. Touch of pepper. Give it a little taste. You just have to taste your product. It has a nice balance, and that's ready to go. So this is the salad. We have watercress, we have baby shiso, and baby cilantro. But if uh, at your grocery store you can't find those items, um, definitely use anything that, uh, that you're comfortable with. Spinach, um, using cilantro, fresh cilantro is, and fresh parsley is a great way to make a salad. A fresh tarragon, uh, herbs are great in salads. Um, and you don't have to get just the mescaline mix. There's so much more interesting ways of making a salad. And to that, we're gonna add some fresh fennel. So we're just gonna shave some fennel. and we're going to start dressing it. A couple tablespoons of the vinaigrette, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and we're gonna to gently toss this. Try not to bruise the greens. Then we're gonna finish it with the lotus root chips and the tuna. So a really delicious salad, super quick, super easy. So a little more lotus root on top. And then we're gonna cut the tuna. So a few nice pieces around your salad and you're set.